Hey everybody, this is episode number one in Paper World Tutorials. In this first episode we will look at the elements included with Paper World, how to search for included elements using the catalog and the different types of elements. So to find an element you want to use, first open the help documentation file in the downloaded folder. Then this one here. Then navigate to the last section, this one here, Elements Preview Links. And you can see here are all the elements listed by category. Now when moving your mouse over these you can open the links and here you can see all the elements under these categories with the icons and element names. And here you can search what do you want to use. So let's say I want to use this brush 7 element here. Then I will go to project and open the elements folder here. Then open elements static folder because it was a static element. And it was listed under brush category. So here and now when I open this folder, then here it is, this brush 7 element. And now you can use this uh, in a paper scene or elsewhere. Or you can also use this search box to find elements by name. So this is how you search for elements. And uh, let's go back to the PDF file. We have included two types of elements in this uh, template. Uh, the first are uh, listed here. And these are mm, elements, for example, like this here, which are 2000 by 2000 pixels in size. So these are quite big and you can use these in your scenes in a big size. But then there are also frame elements. And let's take a look at these. So these are, for example, mountains. Then these uh, palm trees for jungle, water layers, cityscapes. So this kind of clouds, this kind of bigger stuff that you can use to create an environment or background or frame for your scene. And these all are 6000 pixels wide and 4500 pixels high. So you can really frame your scene well with these and use a close up view. And uh, all these elements are uh, in static mode, listed here. And then part of the elements on the next page are animated already. Uh, you can find all animated elements, either the usual elements or frame elements, listed here. So when we go to brush animated elements, then a GIF opens up and you can view here how they are animated already. And of course these uh, animated elements you can then find under Elements Animated folder. Here, as the name says. And you can uh, use static elements uh, uh, to animate them in a different way using the motion presets included with Paper World and of course you can add your own animation to the elements. So I will open this um, UFO static element here, it's open already, to uh, see what's inside, what are the controls for, for elements. And we can see the first layer here is a color control and uh, some of the elements are uh, multicolored or two colored and then there are two uh, color controls or actually there are always two color controls so when you are going to change part of the element uh, uh, for example to black then you can change the color here and we can use this one to to change the color like this then there is uh, two layers so where it said add animation here. The first one is for 2D motion presets and the second one is for 3D motion presets. 
Uh, then the next layer is paper placeholder and this you can use to change the paper texture for elements. So when we go inside here then we can turn on another one and turn off this first layer and when we go back now we can see the paper texture changed. About motion presets, paper textures and custom elements we will talk about in the next tutorial episodes more. So more pre precisely about each of them. And uh, one more thing here. Uh, when you are going to make changes to some element. So let's say we want to animate, start animating this UFO static. Let's pick some static element. But we will find here one from the space category. This one. So for example we want to start animating this astronaut. Then uh, it's important to keep in mind that some elements are used in some scene templates too. In case you are not going to use template scenes in the same project, you don't have to think about it. But in case you want to use the templates also, it's better to make a duplicate of an element before making the changes to this. So we can see here that this is used somewhere. So before starting to make color corrections or animating this, maybe I will just make a duplicate and then I can rename this and make the changes to this one. So this is how you uh, search for elements, find what you are going to use for your project. And uh, the next episode will be about paper scene creator. Uh, how to make new paper cut scenes. Thank you for watching this episode and if you like the tutorial, you can click this uh, subscribe button below and then you will get uh, notified when we add more tutorials to the channel. Thank you for watching again. Bye.